It's been a great week for semiconductors. The semis as a group rising more than 4%. Are more gains ahead? Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Eric Chemi, joined by David Seberg of Cowan and Nicholas Colas of Convergix. Thanks for joining us, guys. So, Nick, I want to start with you. When you look at these names, what are your thoughts going forward? Well, you're right. This stock, these stocks have had a very good move for the week, and they're up 32, 33 percent on the year. So, I wouldn't chase them here. And you got to understand why they rallied this week, even though technology in general was weaker. And that's because the industry is looking for further consolidation. And the current structure of regulation didn't allow all that consolidation to occur this year. You had a couple of high-profile deals get killed because of fears over concentration. The hope is the next administration is going to allow some consolidation to occur, and hence this group worked. But we think it's probably overbought right here. We'd wait for a pullback before getting in. David, you think it's overbought or for people that want to get bullish and they're thinking maybe they use semis as a way to chase the market, you think that's the right move? I think you buy any pullback, any pullback in this sector. I think that, you know, the M&A cycle is going to continue. Nobody short these names. There's a lot of new, you know, practical innovations coming around the corner. It's going to drive growth. You know, um, I, I look at this and say people are buying this, obviously, in the hopes for, you know, the Trump administration coming in and really lightening things up. There's very little regulation right now on this sector. So I look at it and say it's an absolute reflation trade. It's going to continue to work. Uh, I'd much be much more I'd much prefer to buy the semis here uh, than any other group within technology. Uh, and I look at semis equal to if I look at other groups within, you know, the uh, the overall market equal to uh, a trade like the mid, you know, let's say the the, uh, the mid cap banks, if you will, as an opportunity as well. So semis, I think into the end of the year, you want to own them by any pullback aggressively. I think you're going to do very well. Which semis in particular, though, if people actually want to pick some specific names? You know, I mean, I think what you do is you really got to be careful on, on that. If you're looking at it from a broad-based way, I'd buy an ETF. I'd buy somewhere where I get ex general exposure, given the, the fact that, uh, you know, there has been M&A speculation forcing this group higher. There could be the, the, the uh, uh, you know, the fact that some of these names could pull back a little bit. So you can go out and, you know, buy one of these ETFs that gives you exposure to the semis and just really ride that until the end of the year. I think you have to be very careful. Earnings need to translate here. You can make the argument they're not cheap. Or they, I'm sorry, that they are cheap, but there's been a lot of manufactured earnings. So we have to start to see real earnings pick up, uh, if you will, uh, before this group really lifts off. But I think that you can continue to own this easily into the end of the year and do very, very well. All right. So no names in particular. Just go for the overall uh, sector, get an ETF. And then I'm going to go back, Nick, just for some final thoughts. Do you agree? Do you buy any pullback or do you think that's not what you're trying to do for the rest of the year? No, I think you do buy the pullback. This is fundamentally a strong group. And as was mentioned, a lot of good growth prospects across the board. It just feels overbought right now. And I think you can say that about a lot of sectors of the market. And I would also agree that this is about as attractive as small to mid-cap financials, which, which would be another really attractive group to buy on a pullback. But all these stocks that have had a big run on the election, we need to take a little breather. But then there will be another run before the end of the year. All right. Well, Nick, David, thanks for coming on here on Trading Nation. And everyone else, have a great day. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.